All right, y'all, man. We got some new Jack Harlow, man. It's called Jack, man. That's crazy. I had no idea this was dropping to like less than 24 hours ago. I saw somebody tweeted at me. They was like, bro, Jack Harlow dropping tomorrow at midnight. Basically, Thursday night, Friday morning. You know how it go. So, I'm looking forward to this right here. I've been anticipating it ever since. Jack Harlow finally promoted it uh, earlier today. And I just got hyped, bro. I just got hyped. So, this is my type of album right here. First off, this is my type of album because it's only 10 songs. 10 songs. It ain't too short. Well, it might be too short. It depends on what he's talking about. But one thing I know is not too long. I hate long albums, bro. You get bored quick. Especially if they got the same sound on every song. Right here, this is the perfect number to me. 10 songs. You can get your point across with 10 songs. So we finna check this out. It looked like all new songs, too. All new songs that we never heard before. So let's get it, man. Jack Harlow, Jack Man. Let's get it. Will I see you? Just talking about what I see. It's not opinion based. It's just, just shit I see. He said, it's talking, we talking about what I see. Suburbs filled with abonics and trap sonics. Frat boys saying no cap, put racks on it. The dialect got a little splash of some black on it. Cap and gowns bought by the money in dad's pockets. White girl squat. The frat boy saying no cap, put racks on it. He started out speaking on the suburbs and how they switched up that lingo to try to sound cool. Hold up, nigga. It's not opinion based, it's just, it's just shit I see. Mm. The suburbs are filled with abonics and trap sonics. Frat boys saying no cap, put racks on it. The <laughs> dialect got a little splash of some black on it. Cap and gowns bought by the money in dad's pockets. White girl squatting, trying to get that ass popping. Caught back talking to their mom and dad's often. Reciting <laughs> rap lyrics by murder and cash profit. Get to feel like a thug, but don't have to act on it. Facts. Local homicide rates got them astonished. Reading about it on a laptop in Pat Thomas. Microsoft office to complete their assignments. Never Oh yeah, he he definitely speaking on what he, how he was brought up basically. That's what he talking about. He's really talking about what he's seeing or what he saw on a daily basis. Come on, man. He say basically it's a bunch of suburbs kid kids that spoon fed trying to live how they don't gotta live. It's always like that though. Meanwhile, the real hood niggas trying to make it out. But the niggas that was born with a silver spoon, they trying to be gangsters. But they really ain't got to live on it at the end of the day. Because they get money out of mom and dad pocket. Man, come on, man. Hold up, Jack. Dad's pockets, white girl squatting, trying to get that ass popping. Caught back talking to their mom and dad's often. Reciting uh, rap lyrics by murder and cash profit. Get to feel like a thug, but don't have to act, act on, on it. it. Uh, Long on side race, got them astonished. Reading about it on a laptop in pajamas. Microsoft office to complete their assignments. Never seen a hood, still can't help but have comments. That's Never crazy. had a combo with a kid from that climate that really has trauma. That really got taught to survive by any means. Fuck bitches, stack commas. Common ground ain't that common. Common ground ain't that common. Oh, yeah. The festivals are filled with Larry Bird jerseys. College students in a hurry to jump to a four count and say the N word. Business interns taking Molly them perks, trampling on top of bodies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, Jack. See, this is why, this is why I like this dude, bruh. This is why I like this nigga, man. Common ground ain't that common. Festivals filled with Larry Bird jerseys. With a bunch of people ready for the count of four to say the N-word. Boy, that's crazy. 
That is crazy. Filled with Larry Bird jerseys, college students in a hurry to jump to a four count and say the N word. Business interns taking Molly them perks, trampling on top of bodies and dirt. Condescending uh. suburban kids growing up to be rap journalists, writing urban myths about who they think is the best urban kid and who the worst is and who's authentic and what the real hip hop is and who's all in it. Oh Dream my shop, God! Articles and garments and feel like they came from a foreign environment. Secondhand Bape Supreme and gallery department. Anything to feel less harmless. Adderall. Dealers carrying round guns just to make it feel realer. House with white pillars, no rough, just diamonds. The education private, it's all by designing. Common ground ain't that common. Ooh. Let me hear that. that first track right there set the tone for the rest of these nine songs. For the rest of the nine songs, that right there, that one track is gonna have a lot of people talking, boy. That one track. It's a lot, a whole lot of that going on. Everything he talked about, everything Jack just talked about, that really goes on. Oh my God, that's crazy. That's crazy. That, see, that got my attention right there, Jack. Track two, man, they don't love it. Just like. I've been smooth for so long, I'm trying to get rough. Fuck buffing my nails, dog. I'm trying to get buff. Fuck shaping my beard up. I'm liking the scruff. And fuck the hills, cause I'm living my life in the cut. Can't imagine that I'm gonna meet my wife in the club. We gon' see though. I feel like she more of a CEO. Or maybe she doing volunteer work in Rio. It's not like I need her, but I would love to meet her. Another day, another dollar, another phone with another feature. I don't play goalie, but I'm my brother's keeper. Surrounded by family, I'm not with other people. They say I got my pop's demeanor and mother's speeches. The garden's still Private as ever, the gang driving together. You <laughs> Jack said, Hey, I, don't, I really don't feel like I'm gonna meet my wife in no club. So, basically, what's the point of going? I feel like my wife a CEO somewhere, but I'm just waiting to meet her. He said, I ain't want to shake up, shape up my beard. I like the strike, the, the, the strappy look, the scrappy look. Come on, man. Yo, hold up, hold up. Volunteer work in Rio. It's not like I need her, but I would love to meet her. Another Thanks. day, another dollar, another phone with another feature. I don't play goalie, but I'm my brother's Brother keeper. Uh. Surrounded by family, I'm not with other people. Huh? They say I got my pops demeanor and mother's features. The garden's still private as ever. The gang driving together. Your boy's striving to be the most dominant ever. The hardest white boy since the one who rapped about vomiting sweaters and hold the comments. Cause I promise you, I'm honestly better than whoever came to your head right then. They ain't cut from. <laughs> The coldest white boy says who? The one that rapped about moms and sweaters, nigga. Moms, spaghetti, and sweaters, nigga. <laughs> My boy M, y'all can't see him. He back. Y'all, y'all know he right there. Y'all know he right there, man. Y'all know my boy M right there, man. Stop playing. Hold up. Y'all know he right there, man. Yeah. Let him know, M. Let him know. Focus on me, camera. Focus on me. Focus on me. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Focus on me, camera. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Hold up. All right. Hold up, coldest white boy since him. That I might be my facts. demeanor and mother's features. The garden's still private as ever. The gang driving together. Yep. Your boy's striving to be the most dominant ever. The hardest white boy since the one who rapped about vomiting sweaters and hold the comments. Cause I promise you, I'm honestly better than whoever mm. came to your head right then. They ain't cut from the same thread like him. Yep. They don't study doing work to get ahead like him. They don't toss and turn in the fucking bed like him. Cause they don't mm. love it. They don't 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 love I've it. I've been laid back so long, I'm trying to get turned. Fuck searching my name, dog. That's how you get hurt. Fuck being likable. I'm trying to be unbreakable. I just realized that this whole game is takeable if I want it. And I do, yes, I want it. I don't... Bro, say, I just realized the whole game. This whole rap game is takeable. It's up. It's up for grabs, basically. Jack Harlow say they don't want it like him. They really don't lose sleep at night because of it. They don't toss and turn in their bed. I really want to be the one of the best. Or the greatest, as he say. 
the coldest one since M, as he say. Oh yeah. I'm trying to get turned. Fuck searching my name, dog. That's, That's how, how you get, get hurt. hurt. Fuck being likable. I'm trying to be unbreakable. I just realized that this whole game is capable if I want it. And I do, yes, I want it. I don't care how you feel about it. I do what I want it. I used to look up to the people that I'm moving in front of. It's not that crazy anymore. My city used to come up. Bryce and Jack G. James is up next. The rest is up to me. These lames is upset. My peers get upstaged. The fans are upset. My city is upcoming. These people are oppressed. And I'm going to change that. I'm up at Carmichael's trying to get on the same page I heard about the rapper that you claim was a mainstay They had a nice run, but they never gonna maintain Because they don't love it They don't, they don't love, love it. it They don't love 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 it Listen to the beat selection though The beat selection on each track is crazy The beat selection on each track is crazy Hold up, man Ambitious, track three, man. Ambitious, 14 euro. Gray's going down as I'm stacking up zeros, but not the De Niro. Peach fuzz coming in, cool kid, but my hair cut like I'm a weirdo. Hating <laughs> Steven Montrez Harrell. Scuffed up kicks, old navy, my apparel, and I'm coming in my girl like I'm sterile. Told him my whip, I thought I had a green arrow. I was never meant to be a college applicant. Fuck, I look like going to college after this. Class clown type to like to holler at the chicks. Friend group solid as it gets. Recording in my room with the air conditioner all up in the mix. Did a couple local shows. Okay, my following exists. Even if it's 15 high school chicks. Better than a front row of dicks. One day I'm going to be front row at the Knicks. Wait until the world gets a load of this. Ooh. It's crazy. It's crazy. Because he telling us. Jack Harlow is telling us the real him. I saw a couple Jack Harlow videos when this nigga looked like the biggest nerd I ever seen in my life. So everything he's saying right now, I know it's true. But all along, it was it was this nigga. It was this Jack Harlow that we get. He just had to find his swag, you know what I'm saying? But he said, I never wanted, I never really wanted to go to college. I didn't. I always wanted to be a rapper. I never wanted, and then he said, if I look like going to college after this, nigga. Man, I want to be front row at the Knicks, man. Come on, man. Be front row at the Knicks. Wait until the world gets a load of this. Ambitious, 19 euro. I just signed a deal, now my neck's up zero. Yeah. My stash coming in, I really want a beard though. And I really <laughs> think this might be my year though. Suddenly I've made some unclear in my apparel. Playing dive bars and stopping the cracker barrel. No uh. security, my brother's gonna step Will Ferrell. Getting high, getting drunk, no more straight and narrow for me. Street raps made me ask if this the error for me. Is the playing field fair? Is it fair for me? A couple carrots in my ears, enough carrots for me. Feeling like the local scene finally cherishing me Selling out my hometown so my parents can see Charismatic, naive, young, arrogant team Giving everything I got to the American dream But I'm still playing 1 p.m. sets at the festivals Looking at the crowd, they embarrassed for me, Jeez. Oh my God! He talking about his real life, man! Ambitious, 24-year-old Used to have dreams of being friends with my heroes Now I'm Andrea Pirlo out in Europe spinning euros French Pete, man, he giving us a timeline of how he made it. Before 24, he was talking about 19. Before 19, I can't even remember right now. But he giving us different ages and what, what he saw at those different ages and what he accomplished. He had 24 now. Ambitious, 24-year-old. Used to have dreams of being friends with my heroes. Now I'm Andrea Pirlo out in Europe spinning euros. French girl chewing on my earlobe. Here goes. And I've been coasting through customs. Take away the phones that after parties we don't trust them. Facts. Five drop status, I've adjusted to the lust. FaceTime calls about God. Hold up. Hold up. He definitely, he definitely got to be 24. Because that sound like that's current. Jack Harlow, age. He got to be 20. He 25. So yeah, that's this is more recent. This is his more recent lifestyle right here. 
He probably made this song when he was 24. Customs take away the phones and after parties, we'll no trust them. Heart thrive status, I've adjusted to the lust. FaceTime calls about God from Justin. I can't stop hustling. I can't stop hustling. I'm trying to be inspired, but y'all ain't got nothing. Uh. They're trying to downplay me now, ain't that something? I saw that coming. Reading way too many articles about myself, I gotta fall back from it. Audition for a lead and got the call back from it. I'm festival headlining, keeping them heads nodding. I tell her I'll be back, but I don't know when the next time is. Folks think it's about to be more acting and less rhyming, but hell nah, I gotta show these boys who the best got us. Oh yeah! <laughs> this nigga talking! This nigga talking, bruh! Jack Hollis, like, I bet. I see all these articles, all these blogs. I knew they was going to switch up on me. When I got to the top, I knew they was going to switch up on me. Now they thinking I'm finna start acting instead of rapping. But now I got something for y'all. I'm finna show y'all I'm the best. Yeah. Yeah. Stop playing, man. <laughs> Track four. Is that I? Right? No airports and no flights. That's how I want to live my life. Is that I? Right? Ten girlfriends and no wife. That's how I want to live my life. Is, Is that I? Right? Right? No sport cars and no ice. Okay, maybe a little ice. We all got a little vice. No selfies, just say hi. I'm so healthy, a lie. Four L, we them same guys. Uh. Equity for my dogs. Only time you see gang signs. I'm looking to change lives. I already changed mine. Our ambition just ain't the same size. You pint size motherfuckers. Ooh. That nigga said, hold up. Hold up. He said, I'm trying to change lives. I already changed mine. I want to see everybody around me win. Now, my life already changed. But I'm going through the same thing, bro. Real talk. And that's the hard part. It's easy to change your life by yourself. But is you really a boss? If you just change yours, you got to change your, the people around you life, man. Real talk. Anybody that's a real boss, that's their main goal. Of course we got enough ambition to change ours. But can you change the niggas that you love that's around you to live like how you live in? It's only time you see gang signs. I'm looking to change lives. I already changed mine. Our ambition just ain't the same size. You pint size motherfuckers watching my paint dry. In real time, telling yourself it just takes time. The times now stop waiting for the inspiration. They say it's a flaw being impatient. But I uh, know airports and no flights. That's how I want to live my life. Is, Is that, that I? I? No retweets and no likes. That's how I want to live my life. Is that I? No social media. No breakups and no fights. Okay, maybe a few fights. We all gotta choose sides. No selfies, just say hi. I'm so healthy, a lie. Four L, we them same guys. I just want peace. I don't want no smoke, and I don't wanna go to One Oak. I just wanna go home, and I don't want no free jewelry. I don't want promo. I've been on the road since I turned one old show. A hundred people on set used to be one go pro. My dad knows a lot of things that his son don't know, but he ain't been. A hundred people on set. It used to be one go pro. He's telling you what he's living, bro. Now it's a hundred niggas that I don't know on the stage with me. It used to be just me and the camera. Nobody. He basically said nobody was there at the beginning. Only a few people was there at the beginning. It's always like that, bro. Young boy said it on his uh on one of his songs too. Where all these people came from, man? What was y'all when I was in them trenches? Young boy just said that. Jack Harlow just said that. Come on, man. Since I turned one old show, a hundred people on set used to be one go pro. My dad knows a lot of things that his son don't know, but he ain't been to all the places that his son gonna go. No airports and no flights. That's how I want to live my life. Is that all right? Wake up while the sun's still bright. That's how I want to live my life. Is that all right? No time spent on timelines. I got me a good book. I told Angel good looks. No selfies, just say hi. I'm so healthy, a lie. He spoke a lot on no social media, man. 
Do y'all know how lit life was before social media? I think we done had it so long now, a lot of people can't remember what life was like before social media. Especially a bunch of y'all probably watching. Because y'all y'all niggas young. I'm 29. A lot of y'all niggas 18, 17, 22, 21, 23. 23 might remember. But a lot of y'all in high school or just got to college, a lot of y'all always had social media. But some of us remember life without social media. It was so much, but it was so much better, bro. It was so much better. Come on, man. Cole, you stupid. Let's go. Try five, gang, gang, gang. Ride for my dogs, lie for my dogs, die for my dogs. Ride for my dogs, lie for my dogs, die for my dogs. Because it's. Because it's. Home for the holidays. My friend pulled me to the side like, did you hear about Marcus? Our Marcus? Yeah, our Marcus. A bunch of girls say he raped him in the back of some Target. Mm. They say he drove him back there in his car, and then he parked it, and the rest is even darker. Wait, which Marcus? Because it can't be yes, our Marcus. The same Marcus we collected Pokemon cards with. The one with perfect grades that has family in New Orleans. Yes, that Marcus. He's got seven rape charges. Tough. Ride for my dogs. Yeah. Ride for my dogs. Die for my dogs. Ride for my dogs, lie for my dogs, die for my dogs. Because it's. Marcus got seven rape charges. That's crazy. Home for the holidays. My friend pulled me to the side like, did you hear about Kevin? Or Kevin who? Our Kevin. What happened? He got arrested. They found a bunch of messages he sent to little kids. And apparently he met up with this 10-year-old. And now the kid's saying he got molested. Molested by who? By Kevin. Nah, it's got to be a different Kevin. Look, I'm telling you it's Kevin that we've known since we were seven. The one whose dad's a reverend. The same Kevin we spend every weekend with and call brethren. Ride for my dogs, lie for my dogs, Man. die for my dogs. I see where he going with this track right here. Like I said, he's speaking on his real life. It's not opinions. He's speaking what he saw. How many times have y'all got on Facebook? Yes, I said Facebook. Because that's the only type of connection I got with people I went to school with, really. So I get on there every now and then just to stay in tune. It really keep me grounded, low key. But how many times you got on Facebook and you saw somebody you went to school with, you saw something, they done did some off the wall. You might not even hung around them in school, but you knew them. They done got locked up for murder or something. Or like for a rape charge. Or for attempting or like some crazy junk. That's what Jack Harlow talking about. Just random people he knew. That crazy stuff happened to. That's crazy. Ride for my dogs. Lie for my dogs. Die for my dogs. Ride for my dogs. Lie for my dogs. Die for my dogs. Because it's... Because it's... Truthfully, it's family till it can't be, gang till it ain't, twins, but it depends, brothers until something is uncovered, dogs Ooh. until the lifting of the fog, I always got you turns into well, I never thought you, years of camaraderie suddenly disappear, almost like you never were here, unconditional love becomes very conditioned when push comes to shove, and all that talk of taking bullets suddenly feels foolish, pictures with them turn to ad campaigns, you gotta pull it. Feet held to the fire, we hold accountable the ones we hold dear out of morals but mainly fear. The choice becomes clear, and years of camaraderie suddenly disappear. Almost like you never were here. Almost like you never were here. He basically talking about growing up. 
everybody gang to somebody get a change of heart. And when you start thinking like a lot of that crazy stuff we used to do is that's foolish. It's stupid. That's when a lot of stuff changed, man. Everybody gang to they ain't gang. Like, yeah, bro, you you grow up and you realize a lot of stupid stuff you used to do was dumb as hell. You always scream gang, gang, gang your whole life. Then one of them switch on you. All of a sudden, it's like they never existed. Think about that. That's deep thought right there, man. Let's get it. Track six, Denver. So homeless in a Rolex Just got off the stage on the Today Show And I basically felt soulless Years go by and I keep saying I'm gonna use my phone less But I should just be phoneless Ignorance is bliss And so is being underground Cause it was fun when we were known less Sorry uh, that's cliche I know I'm so blessed But Jason keeps That's a fact right there That is a fact That is a fact right there Like he, he ain't never lie with that That line right there Jack It was fun when you was known less It really was bro I ain't even gonna lie. YouTube, YouTube was a YouTube is a blessing, was a blessing, still is a blessing. But bro, a lot of stuff was a lot better before I got on YouTube. A lot of stuff was more genuine. A lot of stuff was uh fun. Now it's like it's like everybody just wait on you to fall off or make a mistake or get in trouble. It's like everybody just waiting, bro. Like it's 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 crazy, man. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss, and so is being underground. Cause it was fun when we were known less. Sorry, that's cliche. I know I'm so blessed. But Jason keeps on telling me, say yes. And truth be taught, I know he knows best. But I don't wanna do no press. I've seen enough of me on this little screen. I've become so vain and insecure about everything. I feel all this pressure to live up to what they tell me I'm gonna be. So I isolate myself. You can't help me, it's on me. I'm hiding any sign of weakness from my guys. I don't want them second guessing with me. Nemo said to keep my foot on next, cause I can't let them just forgive me. But the brags and my raps are getting less and less convincing. So I'd rather just. See, right here, he's speaking, he's speaking his, his truth again. He's saying basically everybody around me telling me, hey, you got to do this to become this. You got to do that to become that. But in reality, he just want to chill. He just want to chill. But at the same time, he want to prove him wrong. He want to be great. So what did he do? He just isolate himself and say, hey, it ain't up to y'all to get me there. It's up to me. Putting all this pressure on himself. He really speaking on like how every artist operate. That's crazy. So many losing hope in those dreams that they I wrote that first verse in Denver back in September. Ooh. It's January now, and I'm feeling like myself again. I got Angel back in here, I need his help again I'm taking time away, but wondering what a healthy helping is Fuck it, they gon' check for me, I tell myself and tell my friends Avoiding any talks about the elephant Chalking up the hate, the jealousy, and just embellishments But deep down, I find myself wondering if the people that write about me Are right about me, and I wonder if my exes are oversharing Cause they know a lot about me I'm a long way from Shelby County. I've been through some local tension. Her talks of a healthy bounty. Sober and focused. I cannot walk down no deli alleys. I still got the fellas around me. I love them and tell them proudly. My mama needs help adjusting. My father needs help accounting. I'm looking out heaven's window. I know that there's hell around me. That's crazy. My, ma My mama need help adjusting. My daddy need help accounting. Looking at these heaven windows, I know that the devil's right. Man, 
Oh my God, nigga, that's gonna be a caption on everybody. Oh, I know that there's hell around me. No deli hallies, I still got the fellas around me. I love them and tell them proudly. My mama needs help with Justin. My father needs help with counting. I'm looking out heaven's window. I know that there's hell around me. That's a bar, nigga. You wanna get out, man? No, oh, come on. Go ahead. Ha, let's get it. So many. Seven, no answers. Uh, my homeboy just beat cancer. I call my ex, no answer. As in, that's my nickname for her. Cause when I call, no answer. She know I'm a romancer. You know I make you laugh like no one else. You love my banter. I let my girl natural. She only know her hands. She only know her hands. She only know her hands. And my baby, she a natural. That sound like one of them ones, Jack. This damn near the shortest song he got. It's always them, it's always the short songs that be the bangers, bro. That's crazy. She only know her hands. Yeah, baby, she a natural. She only know her hands. She only know her hands. She only know her hands. She only know her daddy. She walk around this cold world without no safety net or padding. Mm. Tough as nails, new acrylics. Once the old ones get too stale, coffee shape, new paint. Aside from that, the rest is real. Morning body check the mirror, hit the scale. How we feel, break control inside a pill. Just to leave the crib, these days has become such a skill. Uh, all the cards stacked against them, but she. Just to leave the crib? Them became such a skill? Oh my God. Learning how to deal. Uh, and my, my homeboy just be cancer. I call my ex no answer. As in that's my nickname for her. Cause when I call no answer. Yeah. She know I'm a romancer. Yeah. You know I make you laugh like no one else. You love my banter. Mm. I like my girl natural. She don't know her hands. She don't know her hands. She don't know her hands. And my baby she a natural. She don't know her hands. 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 That's one of the ones, Jack. Hey, watch and see what I tell y'all. That that's one of the ones. That's gonna be one of the most streamed songs on this album, bro. That's a banger right there, boy. Jack, hey, it can't be. It must be my skin. I can't think of any other reason I win. I can't think of an explanation. It can't be the years of work. Woo! That nigga started off the track with some debatable, controversial sh nigga. He said, man, hey, I know I'm winning. It got to be because of my skin. Boy, that's, boy, hey. <sighs> <sighs> I win. I can't think of an explanation. It can't be the years of work I put in. So it gotta be because I'm white, huh? It can't be because I. It can't be because I work hard. It must be my skin. I can't think of any other reason I win. I can't think of an explanation. It can't be the years of work I put in. It can't be the way that I stuck with the same friends. It can't be the swag I got when I walk in. It can't be. It can't be the way I treat people or how I make time to see people and make sure that they feel like we equals. It can't be the smile. It can't be the eye contact with these crowds. It can't be my pen. It can't be these verses that make people feel like I'm talking to them. It can't man, come on. Oh, man. I love this track. Already, nigga, we heard 36 seconds of It Can't Be, and, and this is my favorite song. No, no enhancers is a banger for the world, but It Can't Be... Gotta be my favorite track, and I still got two more. I still got two more. I, I like the, I like the concept of this song right here. It ain't all this good stuff about me. It ain't it ain't about 
how I, I take care of my people, how I make time for people, how I, I connect with my fans. All the hard work I put in, it got to be because I'm white, huh? Yeah, okay, okay. Be the homage I paid Nights when I could have left the studio early But I stayed It can't be the tone of my voice It can't be the thought I put in every choice It can't be the Jeep instead of the Rolls Royce It can't be the downtime with my boys It can't be the tribe and the Biggie and the Nas The outcast and the Missy and my iPod It can't be the absence of any facade It can't be the worldwide hometown pride so I guess, I guess it must be my skin. I can't think of any other reason I win. I can't think of an explanation. It can't be the years of work I put in. It can't be the way that I stuck with the same friends. It can't be the swag I got when I walk in. It can't be. It can't be some understanding or branding or maybe that I'm outstanding or all the South American fans that meet me at the airport upon landing. It can't be my aunties and grannies and every other woman in my family to raise me to be upstanding. It can't be that I simply make air candy, especially when the industry could just plant me, especially when I didn't grow up on brandy, especially when I'm having dinner in Frankfurt with Andy. It can't be a bit of good karma. It can't be the way they all say that he's a charmer. It can't be the last. Pete, what he said, though. He said the industry just could have planted me. I could have been an industry plant. But he said, nah. He named out all the reasons why he made it, why he Jack Harlow. But at the end of everything, a lot of people still gonna say he only he only got these numbers. He only made it this far. He only reached these heights because of his skin. <laughs> That's how the world works, man. You can't please everybody, Jack. Chinks in my armor. It can't be the poise when them boys try to harm us. It can't be that we build something to be a part of. It can't be the way that every beat gets barred up. So I guess. It must be my skin. I can't think of any other reason I win. I can't think of an explanation. It can't be the years of work I put in. It can't be the way that I stuck with the same friends. It can't be the swag I got when I walk in. It can't be. Hey, I love this track right here, boy. It can't be, man. Yeah. That's a genius track right there, boy. Blame, Blame on, on me. me. Let's get it. Track nine. Can't hold back. Hold back. Holding on for a minute. Oh. oh. Blame Blame on me. I ain't heard no beaches yet. Put the blame on me. Oh. Put the blame on me. Put the blame on me. All oh, Jack Harlow, no features. We grew up in the same household For years we were close Throwing football in the yard Till the lights turned on yep. Inside the lamppost Years go by Something changed When you got to junior high And started hanging with them guys Suddenly I meant nothing to you You wanted nothing to do with me You run with a crew That doesn't include Any room for your little brother I was destroyed But I still loved you I still wanted your approval If I could get it I cherish it Embarrassing me Any chance you got But I didn't care Because maybe if I was tough enough To take it You would love me Instead of looking at me like I'm disgusting, like uh. I'm nothing, like I'm not the person that you grew up with. I want to reminisce and ask you if you miss those days, but I'm terrified of broaching the subject. I'm terrified to hear your answer, so I just don't touch it. I don't Ooh. say nothing. Running in different faces. Running in different faces. Running in different faces. Put the game on me. Hey. What I'm getting from this entire album, bro, obviously Jack Harlow telling us about his life, how his life changed. But from this song so far, I'm really feeling what he's trying to push to us. Basically, Jack Harlow is telling us, bro, my life changed quick. Like, this nigga life changed so quick, bro, that he's still questioning stuff in his childhood. About relationships he had with people that when his life changed, he really couldn't contact no more. He still was dealing with stuff from his childhood. Like he had friends that he dealt with that he no longer really could talk to because he all of a sudden got busy. He blew up. Damn near like overnight with what's popping. His life been crazy ever since. So this nigga still be thinking about stuff that happened back in the day. That's crazy. Grew up 
up in the same household For years we were close One on one I would dominate you in the post Years passed but the bond didn't last And now I hate the man above the sink Looking at me in the glass uh. Treated you like I hated you Never needed you Even if I had the same opinion Disagreed with you Insult after insult Hoping they'd eat at you Poking at your deepest wounds My baby brother I don't have an excuse But I know you remember the way that dad would let loose on me More often than way less you now, at first, he was talking about being the younger brother. Now, he talking about being the big brother. You insult after insult, hoping they'd eat at you, poking at your deepest wounds. My baby brother, I don't have an excuse, but I know you remember the way that dad would let loose on me more often and way less you. He criticized and tested me, so I test you. I got mm. so much wrongdoing to confess to, and you act like it never happened. God bless you. Mm. I'm terrified of broaching the subject. I'm terrified to even ask, so I just don't touch it. I don't say nothing. Faces, That's faces, what's on his mind, bro. Different faces. He really giving He really giving us what's going on in his mind. Put the blame on me. Put the blame on me. You grew up in my household, under my roof. Raised you with discipline and taught you life's truths. Lashed out at you for things you'd misplaced. Reprimanding you in public till you're red in the face. Made you feel the weight of. Now it seemed like he talking from the dad perspective. To him. <laughs> you grew up in my household, under my roof. Raised you with discipline and taught you life's truths. Mm. Lashed out at you for things you'd misplaced. Reprimanding you in public till you're red in the face. Made you feel the weight of every single mistake that you made. My hot temper turned up full throttle because I needed you to be a little brother's role model. Everything that you do, he just gonna follow. Don't you understand? <sighs> it's okay, I understand. Because the way I parent you is how my mother did. And the way you treat your little brother is how my older brother did. And now I'm not even my brother's friend. There's so much I would do and say if I could have it done again. But I'm terrified of broaching the subject. I'm terrified to break down. So I just don't touch it. I don't say Ooh. nothing. That genius track right here, man. That's deep, boy. That's deep right there, boy. See, he spoke from the dad's perspective right there. And the dad basically told him everything. The reason why he did everything to him, because the same the same thing Jack was doing to his younger brother, his brother used to do to him. Now they ain't, they don't they ain't even cool. They ain't even friends. Said so he don't want the same thing to happen to Jack and his little brother. That's crazy. Oh, put the blame on me. Last track, man. Put the blame on me. Oh. Track 10 questions. Let's get it. Uh-huh. Turn my voice up. Right here. Why I treat my brother like he ain't my only brother? Why I gotta treat my manager like I'm above her? Why I gotta get so intimate with all my lovers? Why I gotta cheat and make a question if I love her? Why am I so flawed? Why am I so skeptical of God? Why do I pretend like I didn't see it when I saw it? Yeah. Why am I so bold to double back when I've been caught? Why am I not the superhero I thought? Or as perfect as these diamonds I bought mm. When did I start texting so dry? When did I become this type of a guy? When did the text you sent me stop getting replies? What if things don't turn out how I planned them? I want to be more than just a random What if all these people in my life go Danny Phantom? I'm sick of down to earth, I want to throw tantrums I'm sick of these little raps, I want to make anthems You feel me? It's either you or it's my schedule Y'all both can't be demanding I keep you under wraps She told your mom it's for my branding I hope she's understanding Ooh. What if I don't meet the expectations? What if I don't reach my destination? What if I don't live up to the hype Despite all my dedication? Why you think I'm scared to take vacations? What am I supposed Bro said he's scared to take vacation Because he don't want to mess up He say 
basically, if I don't continue working, I ain't going to make it to where I'm trying to make it to. That's why I don't take vacation. That's why I'm always working. That's crazy. This how this man, he done said this like five, six times within this album that he really don't want to take a break because he got he to keep it going. He got to be great. Dedication. Why you think I'm scared to take vacation? What am I supposed to do? Assume her accusations aren't true because I'm close to you? Who should I believe? Is it her? Just cause it happens so commonly The masses never heard your boy rap it so honestly What makes you think that I'd rather have backpackers applauding me Why do I feel I need approval from all my skeptics When I fill arenas up with a passionate following When that's actually all I need But what if they stop caring about me What if they stop swearing by me What if they stop riding for me How they used to do before I was in front of everybody What if they went and found some new kid that got an air about him how many people in this town follow my whereabouts and what would I say with the barrel aimed at me staring down it? I rep the state, but do they care about me in Barron County? There you go again, bro. He, he He's talking about staying, basically staying relevant. He's like, bro, I care. Why do I care about the critics? When I could fill a, a stadium with passionate fans that really love me, but at the same time, those negative thoughts, those negative comments about me still affect me. Why do I care about that? Man, that's so real, bro. Hey, yo, no one. That's crazy, bro. Jack Arlo really gave us his true self right here, man. I felt like bro was just venting. The, the 10 songs, he was venting. He started it out telling us about his early life, his relationships, his early relationships before the fame. Then he eased us into the transition between his, his regular life and to the beginning of fame. Then he eased us into the fame part. Then at the end, he took us through the thoughts he have while being famous. He he told us about how he still try to hang with his day one friends. He still make time for them. He still go back to his hometown. He's talking, he's telling us about all the challenges that comes with all that, all the pressure. I love this right here, man. These 10 songs gave us everything, Jack. Like I like the way you put this together. You gotta listen to it all the way through. I'm glad I did it like that. Y'all let me know what y'all thought of Jack, man, bro. If y'all Jack Harlow fans, leave a comment on the video. Leave a like. I'm gone.